Alright guys, I come back with the editing process now. For those who watch on this video and didn't see the shooting process, not to worry. I include the shooting process link in the caption below. You can just click to watch on how I shot this dark moody food photography. So, after tons of images, I decided to select these three images to edit and compile them together for my food photography portfolio. These are raw images and you can see the metadata here. And actually, I'm kinda happy to see the unedited raw files here. We can see the range of shadow and highlight here, the focus, and also the sharpness. Yeah, looks good. So, I guess it will be easy post-processing. This is to show you how important to get a good shot in the first place. So, let's start. First thing first, I'll try my luck by selecting the color balance as auto. Let's see how the Lightroom will take it as auto. But, not the look that I want though. It looks like a wrong color balance. So I'm gonna add a warm tone there. Alright, it looks better in balance now. And usually, before I play with the exposure, I'll try to reduce the highlights and lift up the shadow and see how it cut. And let's play with the whites and blacks to make it more contrast look. But now it looks to contrast, like a portion of fancy restaurant food. It's not the look that I want. So let's tone down the contrast. Now I'm adding some texture and clarity to it, to give some gritty and rusty look on it. And some vibrance colors so the colors will be more punchy. And although there's no haze here, they'll just add the dehaze effect too, considering it will give more shadow and blacks in the pictures. And tone down the contrast again. And here, I like to add some more saturation on some dominant colors. What I usually do is, I see what color is dominant in the image and I will add some vibrance for it. Not the whole colors, but maybe just one or two. Yep. That's it. Happy with it. Now let's take a look at before and after. Here's picture number two. In my opinion, this one has more blue color balance in it, since I didn't have any wooden elements in the picture. So I was thinking to make it bluer for the whole image. I'm gonna start by copying the setting from our previous picture. Copy the setting, paste the setting, and... Boom! What do you think? Let's add more blue color balance in it. And, perhaps add slightly brighter exposure and highlights so it will have a different tone from the previous picture. But maybe more gritty and shadowy look. Let's see. All good in this section but I'm gonna add a fresher look on the oranges there for the final touch. Since the whole image is bluish, I'm thinking the yellow and orange just to balance it. Now let's see the before and after. Let me know if you have a different opinion. Last one. Picture number three. It has a similar feel with number two. Only a different angle as I shot from the top or people call it lay flat or top down style. So I'm gonna start by copying the setting from number 2. I think this won't take much on tweaking. Copy. And paste the setting. Ha! Huh. It's there but I guess I still need to play it around. So let me just play with the shadow and highlights there. It kinda looks messy from the top and they look like fighting for attention. So I'm gonna give a more punchy look. Just so the foods will attract more attention. Last thing. I'm gonna reduce the cool effect here and add a warmer look just a little. Now let's see how it looks on before and after. And the only thing I need to do now is to remove that reflector on the right top corner on the Photoshop. Alright guys. I hope you like this video, and I hope I can give you more ideas on how you edit your food shot. If you have any comments or questions, 
just shoot at the comment box below. See you in the next video.